before we get started with our demonstration on how to assemble the 45 foot draper, let's talk about combines for just a moment. This header was designed specifically for the 2020 Farm Show Edition 8250 Case IH. Why you might ask, well I've got four of these and a harvest crew and I wanted a 45 foot draper to go on them. On this feeder house there's going to be a little bit of plastic here that is designed into this feeder house to give it realistic detail. You'll need to cut some of this away, almost an eighth of an inch. You'll simply cut down the feeder house and then kind of notch it out with your knife. That way this lip right here on the header will catch that lip on the feeder house and it will stay put, like so. If you'd like to use this header on other kinds of combines, here's how you're going to make that work. Notice on this Ideal 9T, this is a smooth feeder house with no lip on it or anything for this header to catch. You could use a piece of 3 seconds brass tubing or or styrene tubing or something narrower. It could be a piece of bar, anything that will create a lip, so to speak, for this header to catch. An S790 would also need the same treatment. We would have to create something for this header to catch. Again, plastic, even filing a groove in the feeder house since it is plastic, could be created for that header to catch. In this video, you'll learn how to assemble the 45 foot draper header. All you're going to need for this project is a flat sided side cutter and a pin file. To begin, set the header off to the side and then cut the wires away from the reel. Cut this as close to the uh, hold this retainer wire on the end as you can. You can discard the leftover wires. I'll show you why you need the pin file. If we try to assemble this right away, you'll notice that it's super tight to get the pin that holds the reel on the header into the hole. It's pretty tight. So what I recommend is use your pin file and just spin it in reverse. All we're going to do is spin it lightly enough to remove some of the material inside the hole. Now do not press too hard because this is a weak link here. If anything's going to break on this header, one of these ends will be it. So do use caution. Hold it with your finger like I am. Do not press hard, press gently. Also, I do not recommend using a drill bit as drill bits grab and cut and that could break the arm. So we're just going to Spin that in reverse, removing some of that foreign material inside. And then we can gently work that back and forth until it's seated. Again, do not force this piece. If it doesn't go gently, don't force it in. Another thing you can also do is with a sharp X-Acto knife, if you see any little protrusions on the head on this pin, you can gently scrape those off. Occasionally there will be leftover residue from the printing process. You can inspect both ends and see if there's any anything that needs to be scraped off. Then go to the center arm. On the center arm, you'll need to do both sides. When you're done filing, test fit. Once you have the right or left side inserted into the arm, now you can go to the center peg. Let's go ahead and test fit that before we cut anything down to size. And we have a nice fit. Insert one of the ends into the side arm, then take your flat sided side cutter you want to cut this pin so it hits the center of this hole. We have to allow room for both reels to go into that center arm. Now you can gently push the outs against the outside arm then into the center arm and that will allow it to spin. Now we can work on the other side. Again, test fitting. 
I see right here we have a little protrusion left over from printing. We'll scrape that off. And while we're at it, we'll just scrape some of the other paint off. That'll help reduce the, the circumference of that rod. Test fit. And we have a nice smooth assembly. Now we'll go back to the center arm with our side cutter and we are going to cut that rod down so it's about halfway through the center arm. Gently pressing against the outside arm and here we are. Finally, we'll cut the XF, excess pin off the outside ends You'll notice we have that white end left over from where we cut the rod. You can take a black sharpie and give that just a little color. You can do that on both ends and that will hide the white. This rod right here I left long on purpose to fit many different combines. You'll need to cut this shorter depending on which combine this will go on. If an 8250K SIH for example you'll need to cut at least an eighth of an inch down. That way this sets square and even on both sides of the feeder house.